this is for Jean. Um, this is episode two of Yarn and Glass. Oh my gosh, two. Charlie's doing the camera work. I am doing the, the camera work right elusive here. Elusive Charlie, who will probably never show his face. Although no. I have I have tried to teach him to knit, but he won't do it. He won't do it. Yet. He's too smart for that. Anyway, too dumb. this oh, is yeah. episode two. I am I am Vir, uh, Mosaics by Virgin on pretty much everything. Etsy, Instagram, Facebook. There's something else. And uh, Mosaic Madness on Ravelry and Knitting Mosaic Na Madness on Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts, one for the mosaics and one for knitting because they're fairly separate hobbies. But uh -huh. yeah, so that's me. And I thought this episode, there's going to be some mosaics and we did art in the park and uh, we had a huge garage sale and uh, anyway, grouted. And so there's going to be some mosaic um, mixed arts, in. Yeah. That's, but this yeah. is a knitting part right here first. So this is about knitting and mosaics, but this part is about the mitered square. Actually, it's about scraps because I seem to generate a lot of yarn scraps. And it's, you know, it becomes a dilemma what to do with all the scraps, whether you, um, yeah, make, in, make them into blankets, which I certainly am doing and have done. And so I'll start with that. So I've done a lot of mitered square things. I actually have four blankets, one totally finished and three in progress. But this is one of my longest in progress ones. And this is. Okay. I'm going to pan around a little I bit. I would say this one's almost done. It looks like it to me. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's big. So that's all scraps, yeah, basically. Let me, I'm going to pan down <laughs> a little bit. Everybody hold on. It's See, really. It goes all the way down here. Yeah. I do all love the way. mitered square. And I, this is a 46 stitch mitered square, so 23 stitches on each side of the middle. And yeah, I, I think I'm, where is the end? Yeah, I'm really, I have three squares to go, I think, to finish this okay. guy. And the ends are mostly in. So I have a thing that I do that every month I pull out a color and I'll, well, okay. I'll show you the color block one for next. So this is the color blocked one. And I made, an, and I actually have another one of these, these mixed ones in Texas. That's almost done also. But this is the color block one. So it's going to be four, four colors okay, down, now. five colors across. Okay. So I have, oh. yeah, I'm on my second row. And it's nice because you do it, you know, you do it in colors. And what I do is I, at the beginning of every month, I'm a little crazy. I think I'm crazy. At the beginning of every no, month, no. I pull a bag. We're having wine. I pull a bag out of a color of scraps. And yeah, some of these look like they're full skeins. And these are leftovers from socks. Sometimes it's a full skein, sometimes, and then I'll pull it out to do socks, or I'll pull it out to do scrappy socks. Okay. But at the beginning of the month, I pull out a color, and I work with that color all month. And about the last three days of the month, I do it, I sew it ends. And if that color fits on the big blanket, then I'll do a square of like purple I have a question for on you. the big blanket. Yeah. Do I have a glass of wine too? You do, it's over there. Okay, let me look over here real fast and I'll come back. Okay, <laughs> make sure I have a glass of wine. Oh, oh good. I have one too. Okay. Thank God. Right. Coming back. So Coming back. the color block, <laughs> I have this many squares either in progress or finished. So there's a black and there's a black and gray oh, one. That's nice. There's a blue one. There's an orange one. Oop, that's not done. So there's two more that I can put on the blanket. But so if I pull out the, the purple, like in August, then I'll just pull out these squares and work on them and maybe get one done. And when yeah. I get the next color done, that's ready for the blanket. I'll, I'll sew it on with the border and I'm doing the border in black. So we have purple, we have orange, we have purple, we have orange. 
Okay. We have black and gray. We Those have are all your green. These are all greens. Okay. These are all scraps, sort of, kind of. I, we okay. have blue. Blue's big. Blue. Okay. And we have red. And I don't know what happened to yellow. Did you take yellow? Where's yellow? Yellow's gone. I can't find yellow. Maybe there's yellow in there, but uh, no. No, I didn't do it. No. So that's it. what I do with some of my scraps. And sometimes, yeah, I I put a full skein in because I want some different blues, but then I'll pull yeah. it out. And I make a lot of scrap socks. This is three different, three different yarns, and these are still wet because I just blocked them. But um, these are three different yarns, so I will definitely... I make a lot of scrap socks because I like them. I have a question for you. What, yeah. How do you pick your, your color out? Is it just random or do you like... Not random. No, I I sometimes throw in a contrast color like the green. That's, yeah. And sometimes I do um, heels, toes, and cuffs in a different color. So just whatever I feel like doing. So that's, that's scrappy socks. And the other thing... Okay, so I was... I don't know, I was watching a podcast and somebody mentioned Mrs. Weasley. Mrs. Weasley. Mrs. Weasley. Uh-huh. And I and they were making a Mrs. Weasley sweater out of scraps. Uh -huh. And I thought, who who the hell is Mrs. Weasley? <laughs> and Well, I might have wondered that too. <laughs> who is Mrs. Weasley? So I, I Googled it and guess what? It's a it's a Harry Potter reference. You, and you're I, kidding me. I am probably the last human that hasn't read the Harry Potter books. Who's Harry Potter? <laughs> and <laughs> well, no, I'm not the last human because there's another one sitting here. So I decided to read the first book. Oh my God, it's a good book. <laughs> have you heard of it? <laughs> no, of course you have. So um, this, there's, well, a there's, knitting, a, there's a knitting reference, at least in the first book. Uh, maybe well, thing, maybe we, it continues. We need to let them know that when we drive our long distance drives, I drive... You and listen to a book and you knit the whole time. And we do listen to a book and I have yeah. offered to do the Harry Potter books on trips because we go from northern Minnesota to Texas yeah. and that's a long drive. That's a long that's drive. That's a long drive. Yeah. And um, you said no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I've got these yarns that are pretty much the same weight. And they're not, yeah, they're not scraps, but some of them are uh, leftovers from a sweater. This is from the nested sweater that I showed you on the last episode that I love. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'll make a nested sweater without the, um, the pattern in the back. Okay. And I will just do um, random stripes, some of them wide, some of them narrow. I have no idea if this will work out, but they're, they're pretty oh. much um, all singles. They're all fingering weight, and that's what I made. I actually made the nested out of this, so I know I like that weight of sweater. So I started it, and it's I've got that's the cool. um, the beginning of it, and I'm, I think I I'm it. about yeah, ready to mm -hmm. separate for the. No, I think I have more to go before I separate for the sleeves. But um, yeah, and so I'm just going to stripe it. I may not use all those because that's a little insane. That's insane. I, I may not use the yellows, although I might. I I'll, I think I'll throw the orange in for I get sure. A dumb question and there might for be you. a black in there too. Yeah. Your dumb question is, what is that thing on the end of the red this? thing? Yeah, I'm oh, really cool. clueless. Um, I forget what it's called. Needle needle finder or needle keeper. Oh, okay. So it just keeps. Just keeps the needles okay. Keeps. Yeah. I love these. Elementary things. question. Sorry. Okay. Keeps the, when I'm not knitting. See, it holds ah, it holds ah. the stitches on, so you okay. don't lose them. Yeah, they're great. I have quite a few of them. So that is the other thing I'm sort of doing with scraps. So of course this will make more scraps because I'll use parts of these skeins, so they won't be <laughs> they won't be useful skeins anymore probably. So that will just add just to keeps going in a big circle. I don't know what to do with scraps actually because four blankets is probably enough, <laughs> and two of them are almost done. One is done. My daughter has it, uh -huh. and the fourth one is this. It turned out really, one. really beautiful. Though. Yeah, it is beautiful. She, she loves it. But, yeah. yeah. So we will um, think about scraps some more. So that scraps is... Scraps are good. That is that. So, yeah. That is oh, lighter square okay. scrap knitting. So we get to 
celebrate? Oh yeah, cheers. Okay, so because, we're gonna because you know why? Because we're alive. Oh Be no, no, why? <laughs> because it's five o'clock. So because long. it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, I got him drinking. I'll turn this thing off. Hold on. <laughs> mm. I thought I'm supposed to take. It. Okay, so today I am working on glass on glass. These are really getting steamy. They're safety it's glasses. Very humid. It's humid today. Um, but yeah, so I haven't done a lot of pieces glass on glass, but uh, I have done some and I was doing using the weld bond glue, but I discovered this matte glue that um, works. I think it's going to work a little better. I'm gonna, I've got to switch back. So she's going and getting different pair of glasses They're because fun. it's I'm so getting humid. Regular glasses. There we go. I'm okay. not gonna. I'm not gonna be cutting that much or grinding. Um, the, this works. I think it dries a little faster yeah. and it dries a little clearer. You want it to dry very clear because it's going to be. I'm gonna get back behind uh, you. It's gonna be kind of grouted look. and uh, yeah. with a light behind it. How I how I did the design was I drew it on paper, yeah, and then attached the paper to the glass on the back so that I could see through it, and then uh, laid out the stained glass. Yeah. And it's got to be glass that is uh, transparent so that you can obviously get light through it. So I just pick up a piece when I'm at the beginning of of something like this. I pick up a piece, mm -hmm. see where it fits, and do a very, well, that's too much, very small <laughs> amount of glue. Yay, we scraped this so well. Yeah. So I'm going to scrape some of that off onto another piece because I don't want it to show scraping I don't want techniques. It to show. There, very scraping, good. there we go. And uh, I right. just see if I can find a place that Ooh. it fits. See, perfect. Cool. It's like a puzzle with no set pieces. It's like a puzzle, but it's random. A random puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I just do that until I run out of pieces that are fitting. That will fit with a tiny piece there. I'm going to want to fill in that space right there. Okay. So say I'm at a place here where there's only a few pieces left and I want to, I want to get a piece that fits perfectly. So then I'll use the nipper and Ooh. cut away. So how to get its name the nipper? Wheeled nipper, I don't know. We, oh, used to, okay. we used to laugh about that. So I keep this box here that Charlie made to catch little pieces. Beautiful box, okay. It's wonderful, wonderfully crafted. And empty it now and then, so put a little glue there. Okay. Little spots, smear it around, put the piece in, ta-da! Cool, nice. huh? Nice. It's fun. It's fun uh, actually to find the exact piece that fits. It just makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much for me. <laughs> look at see. Happy? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so oh you've got that God. space there. You found that space that's already been tumbled. We didn't even plan that one out, did it's, we? No, no. It's like perfect. No, I didn't plan any of this out, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm doing this. I'm also doing uh, some lanterns over here okay. that. So I'm going to walk around, spin you around here. Um, that our daughter had at her wedding on the tables and on the aisle. And I brought, I don't know, about 12 of them home. And I'm going to do, I did the blue yesterday, and I'm going to do a pale green on the top. And then put a candle inside for Art in the Park. And I have 12 of these. Oh. These are, this is kind of a neat, nice thing for an art show because it will be a little, uh, less money than something like uh, that, <laughs> which will be more money or, you know, some of the bigger pieces I have yeah. in the house. So yeah, so that is glass on glass today and tomorrow, who knows? <laughs> right. But that, oh, I forgot well, to mention forgot that to piece okay. is, is going to be in a stand that I showed in episode one. So it's, it'll stand up on a, on a wrought iron stand. Oh, I, I see it back there. Okay, we're going back over here again. No, you don't have to follow. I like following you around. It's a lot so of fun. it will. <laughs> There's a stand right there. It will stand. In, it'll that. go in there. Ooh. Like that. I'm not gonna put it in, but we, and then we'll put a light behind it, and I'll I will grout this because it'll look better. I, I'll probably grout it in black. 
So yeah, so I will insert a picture here of it finished. Groovy. Groovy. <laughs> that is, man. That's a good way to end, right? Technology at its finest. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Oops. It is routing day. So I've got choices of colors over there. I try to have quite a few pieces before I grout, especially pieces that are going to be grouted the same color because I tend to overmix grout. So I want to be able to put it on some other pieces. So I have these three pieces taped right now. So that one's taped off. This one is just a, a little one for the art show that I bought that had those houses um, coming out from it with a, something written on it. I can't remember. So I kind of did my version of Starry Starry Night on it and with some trees. and Yeah, so that's the houses are taped off. There's a little, this is a little necklace holder with little daisies that's taped off. So those are all going to be done in dark charcoal. And then I have Wolf here, who I said I wasn't going to grout, but I'm just going to grout the black. So I have black grout there in front of him. And then there's pale gray for well, the moon. The Fly Me to the Moon is upside down, but there's an eagle and there's Fly Me to the Moon and they will be done, the moon will be done in kind of a very light yellow. So I'll have to tape that one twice and the rest will be pale gray. The eagle will be pale gray. Then I have a light gray and these birds outside my window will be light gray. There's a little um, key holder that's got a turtle on it will be like gray. He's just in case I have extra grout. There's a fish and there's a turtle lazy Susan and there's an old clock I had that I that I go that I decided to mosaic. So he's got a bird and some and the time is right. So that's good. <laughs> Keeps time. So yeah I've got quite a few pieces ready to grout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this morning we'll be grouting. Okay, this is for Jean, and grouting day's over. And it's been a few days since grouting day. And I wanted to show all the pieces that got, all the mosaic pieces that got grouted okay. that day that I was working. And so, I'm going to walk over right here and follow her. We, to the wolf. There's Charlie. We did a little post. bit on wolf, not much. I just did the black, the brow, and a little bit of the corner and his nose. And that's okay. all I did on him. Then this is Starry Starry Night. He got done in purple. We're going to walk around here and I'm going to try We're not to make people not dizzy. Too dizzy, do the dizzy, best I can. dizzy. <laughs> but that's... don't go backwards because there's things on the ground. Okay. Um, so that, yeah, that got grounded. These are a little. Um, Turning, turning slow, slowly turns. turns. There we go. Okay, I'm back here. <laughs> and there's some neck. These are necklace holders. Wait a minute. Let me get over here and get them to I'll time. Pick one up because that one's kind of cute. See, they are cute, aren't They're they? Cute. They're yes, and I'm to gonna make. make necklaces next week. Let me ask you a question, yeah. ma'am. Mm -hmm. Why are Why are we outside? Why? why? Oh, because we just had an enormous garage sale, and okay. this is the last day. I'm wearing the money. But <laughs> don't tell anybody, okay? This is Thunderbird. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to get a good sun. Is it too sunny? It's too sunny, I think. It might be too sunny. I don't know, but that's Thunderbird. And there's a fish next to it. And let me see if he looks better in the shade. There's a fish right there. I'll, I'll hold Turn some it. of these. Here's Rooster. Here he comes. comes. Rooster. Rooster. And I ended up... I ended up doing his grout all in kind of a light yellow and then the rooster kind of disappeared. So I took purple and I redid his feathers 
and it looks nice. so yeah. much better. There's so much better contrast. Barn wood frame. Yes. Okay. Let me pick up the other ones. Yeah, I'm gonna sit right here. The You're... sun is hurting us, isn't it? This yeah. is called Fly Me to the Moon. Can so I grounded that in th two different colors. I'm gonna come up to look at the uh, the moon. The, the, the ankle. The oh, that that's the ankle loom weaving. Okay. And then I over love the ankle loom. To the this moon needs itself. cleaning. We got to clean up a little bit. There. Okay. It's a bit. That's better. Alrighty. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to do a panorama of, of the garage sale, what's oh, left of it. Oh, it was so this is, crazy. This is actually where we live. And this... This is all the trees but the, around here. <laughs> the, the, the driveway was totally full before. This is the third day. And I even sold a yeah. business, a name bracelet business. I sold all the beads, yeah. almost all the beads. And, and there's, there's empty tables. Oh my gosh, there's empty tables. And there's, there's no people here now, thank goodness. Wonderful okay, thing. so I'm coming back around slowly, and she's going to show you something else. Which this, is this is my. This, this is, is a lazy really Susan. Cool. This yeah. is I showed it on the video making it, but he's grouted now in two colors. Uh, it's still kind of. I think we're getting a good. I'm about, still in the sun a little bit. How about shade? Total shade. Maybe it's total shade. It has really great contrast in it yeah it's really a, a really nice and piece he's a lazy susan yeah so it so, spins <laughs> yeah it spins okay. and so let's walk around here we're walking around here okay and this let me come to you okay come to me this i bought in a junk shop it was a crummy old clock and it keeps perfect time and i decided just to mosaic it That's, it turned out really and nice. now it's yeah, way like cuter than it was. And the clock even runs too. And the clock even runs. Goodness. Okay, now let's walk that way. We're walking around. Okay. Hold hold on. Whoop, almost went to the sun. That's not good. I'm walking over here. And I'll come over here. The birds outside my window. You still Which, a little bit in the light. There you go. I can get, yeah. That's a good And I really like the cardinal. And the bluebird. That's neat. Yeah. That I was like fun. That. This is How'd this you pick is made. The birds out? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I liked them. This is made um, a repurposed old cabinet door. So then I cut three pieces out and kind of made a continuous picture, which is really fun. I love to repurpose things. Mm -hmm. So the weedy board it was cut into three pieces, put in there. Okay. Yeah. We do a lot of repurposing. Um, there's one more over here. One over here. Oh, there's one more. One more. Okay, here we go. This is Eagle. Right away. Eagle. Look at that, isn't that? That's great. I'm going to get closer. He was uh, fun. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh, here? Don't here. follow me. Okay, say here. goodbye. Say don't goodbye. Do, don't do... You're not we can't do the do customer. That. We cannot do the customer. Now we have to cut that Does out. Do you want to be in? <laughs> no, she has to be in. <laughs> It's early morning and people have mostly set up over yesterday and we are going to get ready to go. There's our tent. We got it opened up, but there's still a lot to do. But it's 8 o'clock in the morning and we have till 10. But yeah, it's not ready. So the sale is about to start and we are set up. And most people are set up. Live music over there, all kinds of art booths. And it's about three different rows that way. And it goes all the way down there where there's food. Carnegie Library, and we don't want, he doesn't want to be in the podcast, and we show him the lake, we have a cow, with, I don't like it, I'm not going to show, but I, I mosaiced his udders, but they're underneath, <laughs> they're, uh, there's all kinds of mosaics in here, ready to go. There's the lake, that's Lake Bemidji, which is a fairly large lake, 17 miles around by bicycle. 
Here's the mosaics ready to go. Yay! And there we have it. Necklaces, necklace holders, and people are starting to What are you here? This is Okay, so this is the end of episode two. two. Yow! Episode one right now has 144 views on it. Did you, Charlie, did you no, view it 144 I, times? No, only 143. Oh, okay, 100, well, there's one viewer, but <laughs> yeah. So please uh, like and subscribe if you, if you want me to continue or if you like this, that would be really exciting I'd be to happy me. too. I'm working on dragon, crocheting dragon gloves uh, that I'll show you what I'm doing on episode three. So thank you for watching. All of my information is on a slide after we say goodbye and um, see you next time. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye-bye. Happy knitting.